Automatically when you close your eyes, you start to relax. You shut down one of your senses, so you can find that your mind becomes much more focused. So, last week, we left you with us arriving at New Beginnings in Devon. This week, we're going to show you what we got up to. Let's go jump straight into the deep end. Now as you count down from 10 to 1, you also focus on relaxing your body. Now how you can do this is when you count the first number, you take your attention down to your feet, and then start to feel a warm sensation around your feet. Okay, imagine your feet relaxing. Okay, so just relax. This was my favourite bit. Head massage. Once they get started, you don't want this to end. Okay, you can do some fresh points on your face. Okay. And as you breathe out, we're going to fold forwards and do the other side. So folding into the forward bend. Can't say yoga was my favourite thing. As you breathe in. And when you've had enough coming out nice and gracefully, give your standing leg a bit of a shake. When you've had enough, dropping your arms, stepping your feet back together. How do you do it? How do you make healthy food tasty every single day? One of the main ways is just by using good quality fresh ingredients. I try to select things that are in season mm -hmm. and I haven't had to travel a long way and use organic produce as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I do give much smaller portions um, which will grow um, during the time that people, people stay and, and maintain this diet. I feed them five times a day. So it's not like you're being absolutely restricted in, in, in your food intake. Halfway, flat out, let's go. Wayne, the dreaded personal trainer. Okay, ready? Nice and wide. The, the people who come and see us are the people who've done every diet, who've tried everything, and who are really frustrated. So they're frustrated with themselves. They know how to lose weight, but they're not doing it, and they don't understand why. And that's, that's what we want to make the difference with. But we won't take more than eight people in a week, and we interview everyone before they come, because if they're not serious about losing weight, then this isn't the right program. And, and we, you know, we want people here who are going to get fantastic results and who are ready to make a, a real change. Now, the other thing is, you started in 2008. So you pretty much opened this place as a recession was hitting. Yes. And was hitting the entire Western world. Yeah. Um, what effect did that have? Um, I'm not sure that it had a very negative... Uh, it was scary. Uh, it, you know, I wasn't thrilled to be opening a business as, as a recession was, you know, really going into full swing. Mm. Um, but I don't think it made a huge difference negatively for us because actually as money's become tighter for people, people have become more aware of their health and their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves. And maybe actually people have started to think of, of themselves as being more important than the money. Yes, yeah. You can see it's a well-worn trail. Um, the bar away is where it looks to uh, This is John, who took us on our hike. Now this is wood sorrel. If you pinch a little bit of leaf and give a chew, quite refreshing and good if you've got a headache. And we walked for miles and miles and miles.